Bam. Okay, I forgot a cup. This is going to be easier. So you want that evenly spaced, that, that inside. I use a two finger method. Two fingers all the way around. Okay, we're in good shape. So we're going to use gravel. Around this thing. Like, I think true ones use like sand or dirt or something. We're going to fill this huh, Dickies plug. So we're going to link this to our barbecue page, Buckaroo Barbecue Challenge. Um, some people are going to be like, well, that's not barbecue at all. Well, let's see. You're cooking outside, and I'm going to be using briquettes. For me, pretty damn close. Trying to keep as much out of the middle as we can because we are going to be cooking in there. What's the gravel do? Do you know? It's going to create a heat barrier. It's going to hold the heat. The rocks are going to get hot. It's going to continue to be hot. And it's going to be... It's just going to make a little oven. Like a little thermos. A little flower pot. It's going to be amazing. <clears throat> okay, so this is the first time I've ever done this. Uh, I got a clay pot for cooking chickens in my oven. And I was trying to learn how to use it. And I saw somebody make one of these. And I thought... That'll be super fun. I'm gonna make one. So hopefully I only have to do this once. Okay, so now we got it up to the lid or the level here that we want. We are gonna put this right on top. Okay, and I think I'm guessing, I don't know, I'm just guessing that the thing that's most important is that we cover up that seam. So I don't know how far you have to go up, but there's that seam right there. So I'm gonna try to cover that. I know this is riveting, right? Maybe you'll put yakety sacks, huh? Let's speed this process up. You remember what yakety sacks is? Benny Hill? Oh. You know they always run around with that fork? Real fast. Yeah, we can do that on this. It'll save people. going to weigh 8 million pounds. Never going to move off this deck. Ever. Alright. So see, now that's not moving. So it's all kind of one. That down in there. I'm assuming it's going to settle a little bit more. Now, if I cut that right and I got the right size, this will act as our lid. So no like wasp and dirty birdie things can get in there that we don't want in there. Um, but you know, we got a hole in the bottom. So, all right, our next step is to light this baby up. 